So I bring in all the wishes and greetings to Dr. Sneha uh, Sanjeev for scoring a topmost rank in NEET SS 2023, uh, rank number 40 in DM Medical Group. Congratulations to you, doctor. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much, sir. So I bring in all the wishes from the SPEED faculty to you Thank for you, achieving a fantastic and a phenomenal rank. Thank you, sir. Doctor, can we know some a little background of yours from where you started? Yes, building? yes sir. Um, sir, uh, my name is Dr. Uh, Sneha Sanjeev Pujle. Mm -hmm. I am from Bangalore. So I've done my, uh, up to my 11th and 12th, I've done it from Bangalore. I've done my uh, MBBS from Belgavi Institute of Medical Science, Karnataka. And I finished my uh, MD medicine as a gold medalist uh, from uh, Government Medical College, Nagpur. Uh, so I had, I even served my, my one year compulsory bond um, uh, and I finished it uh, in August 2023 from uh, Cooper Hospital, Juhu, Mumbai, sir. Excellent. Now, uh, when did you start your preparation? How did you start? Can you share some of your experiences of your journey in preparation to achieve this today? Yes, sir. Uh, so, um, so I joined my MD Medicine in the year 2019. I uh, primarily wanted to focus on reading Harrison during my residency. So my aim was to read it once, understand it to my extent. And uh, so I did that during my uh, residency period. And uh, so right after that, when I did appear, uh, and I finished it in 2022. So right after that, when I appeared for my NEET SS last year, sir, unfortunately, I uh, fell ill. I had started getting fever about two, three days before the exam. So that did affect my performance. And uh, I was later on diagnosed with dengue with a uh, platelet count of 7,000. And oh. I had acute interstitial pancreatitis also, sir. My so God. the next three, two, three months was very difficult. And uh, I had to primarily focus on my health. And at this time, I uh, consulted one of my seniors and uh, she advised me to go ahead with speed app. So that uh, it gives me, a, uh, it will give me a more clearer conceptual based uh, approach. And uh, sir, I remember uh, recovering slowly and slowly starting off with the videos of speed. And uh, that really pushed me during that very uh, you know, trying phase because uh, I was very hopeful I'd get it off in the first attempt. But uh, this, uh, the watching the videos, slowly understanding that is what I learned a lot from speed. And uh, sir, yes, sir, after that, once I slowly recovered, I uh, would give about minimum uh, four hours of uh, studying because, sir, I was simultaneously trying to finish my bond. Uh, so morning, I would be up by around six o'clock, study till eight, leave for work at around nine and uh, be there in the hospital premises and finish my duty by around one, two, be back, take a break again, start at four, finish it up by 10 or so. So all along, sir, I would keep my notes open that I have, I had prepared rough uh, during my residency, keep my Harrison open. And I heavily relied on the uh, really extensive videos that were provided on the speed platform. I am very, very grateful to prop to every single teacher who has taught me so much more uh, than I thought I would be able to grasp and to be able to recollect it, retain it, and even be able to put it forward and mark my answers right at such a testing time. Uh, sir, personally, I would really like to thank Dr. Azim, sir, for cardio, Santor, sir, for onco, and I'm a big fan of Dr. Arun Tiwari, sir, for romant. And I can never uh, be, I can never stop being grateful to Mother Priya, ma'am, for making hematology such an easy cake walk for me, and Jobin Preet, sir, as well. For uh, and Manu sir, who made me really uh, enjoy nephro, and uh, for endocrine sir, I uh, did appear for my AIMS exam, uh, the INI SS. So I did go through the endocrinology part in detail, and I'm very grateful to Dr. Mansa ma'am for the amazing uh, William Bayes tables, as well as Dr. Ashutosh sir, Dr. Karthik sir, Harsh sir, Shaila ma'am, and Gupta sir. Without whom, I wouldn't have fallen in love with endocrinology the way I have now. So I am very grateful to this app because um, they not only taught me just the tables or just the you know concept, the one-liners, but the concepts that I thought I could never remember, I or concepts that I was not aware with. These concepts were very clearly uh, taught to me in such a way that, sir, when our, I mean everybody is aware of the fact that the exam got delayed by two hours inside the examination center and. Uh, even at that such a uh, you know uh, phase of tension and stress, 
I did not forget my concepts and uh, this really helped me reach where I want to and I'm very, very happy that I opted for this app, sir. And it really helped me, you know, just give me the necessary push. So, yes, sir. The, the entire faculty team and the team of speed will be very happy uh, yes. to hear this from you. They will be very, very satisfied and be happy for their work, what they have done. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And uh, now, what is your interest? Endocrinology is what you are going to take yes. it on. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. My, uh, I, I think by the time I had started uh, preparing for neat SS, I was kind of sure that I wanted to do endocrinology. There's a heavy emotional aspect associated with it as well. So I uh, really would love to pursue that branch. Yes, sir. So twenty eighth any SS is there, so you would have definitely applied for it. Uh, I, sir, uh, I have some, but I am not. Uh, I may not be able to give it to the fullest attempt. I will. Yeah, you can. You, you can give the exam, and the yes, results sir. will speak for it. And yes, you, can, you can decide based on that. Yes, sir. What I could see is, I mean, the kind of the passion that drives. Uh, I mean, uh, to do a superficiality, and uh, and following. Uh, I mean, an illness and a kind of critical illness and coming back, and to fight for it, again, go ahead with the same tempo and the enthusiasm, not only on the day of exam, even till date with the interview as well today, we could feel that vibe. And uh, I mean, it is very, very positive and very encouraging. And uh, what is the message that you want to give to the aspirants of DM and those who want to prepare, those who want to do uh, what they want to do? What is your message from your side? So the first thing I would tell them is health. Uh, whether it is physical, whether it is mental, emotional, you should be at the peak or the prime. It should be at your best because that does affect you in the end. So um, the second thing is it's uh, that this uh, platform, I mean, what platform you choose to, you know, um, go through the videos or go through the notes, that matters a lot. And for me, I will always tell them that speed is something that really gave me uh, a very big push, which I needed because I had to start all back from the scratch. I had to push myself and uh, this app really helped me because it cleared my concepts. And the best part was that there were notes that were there, the PDF notes. So, sir, I was doing it in Mumbai. So every time I would travel, uh, in the local train, I would stand. <laughs> yes, sir. So mm -hmm. that was my level of dedication, and that was possible because the 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 app was arranged or you know made in such a way. It was so uh, friendly, ergonomic for us. So yes, sir. The platform that they choose really matters, and I would obviously stand for speed and say that <laughs> this is something that you know they should opt for because its concepts have been clarified so beautifully that i don't think i can forget and those notes have become very precious to me as well sir no do you you had a habit of attending the daily live classes do you had some time to do it uh, no sir actually because i was simultaneously doing my bond i wouldn't have the time to do it but uh, i would eagerly wait for either the uploaded. notes or the yes videos to be uploaded so i was at par with whatever they were teaching so yes sir, it was a very beautiful experience it uh, i mean i did not feel that stress that i have to do this i have to do that i did not feel that with it because everything came very naturally from the teacher side and it felt very um, very easy to understand so yes sir and another thing that i follow that i think really helped me was um, so there's this timer system that i follow uh, so if I'm going to sit in a place and study, even if I'm going to, I start the timer the minute I start studying and then I uh, stop the timer, even if I'm going to drink water, I'm going to stop the timer if I'm going to uh, even scroll through my phone or do something or if I'm going to chit chat with somebody who's sitting next to me and again start the timer. So if it was four hours of studying, it was four hours of productive studying. Okay. So, so these three things I would really uh, like to tell and put it forward for anybody who's going to appear for these exams. Did you work on the topic wise test and grant test? Uh, uh, sir, to an extent, yes, sir. Um, but again, sir, I was on a time constraint. So I heavily relied on the notes. And uh, some test series I was able to give, but there my ranks used to fluctuate a bit. Uh, but uh, the, the topic wise tests, I have given most of them. But uh, grant tests, I was a little lagging behind because I had to finish my portions as soon as possible. And uh, the exam getting delayed was a, I think it turned out to be a big boon for me. 
So I had enough time to study everything again. As you rightly said, the faculty is focused on on daily updates and the recent yes. updates and daily updates. Yes, sir. At the same time, the team is also will kind of look into the comfort levels of the student. I mean, I mean, how yes, how sir. far you felt that the team was able to keep in touch with you and to kind of support you. It's not like sir, a mechanical you... platform and app like that. So, yes, was sir. there an uh, experience in that for you? Sir, um, I felt that if there was any uh, coming to the technical aspect, any issue I would face, very few, very few. I think once or twice, it was immediately taken care of uh, uh, by Mohan Rath, sir. And uh, when it comes to any doubts that I've asked, I've asked very few because, sir, the way they've taught, I don't think there was any need for me to ask a doubt. But, but every time I've asked, yes, I've had an immediate reply. So it never felt mechanical. It felt very natural, you know, like it was someone's teaching me. I'm able to understand it. I'm able to grasp it and I'm able to remember it for a very long time. So, yes, sir, it was a very, like, even though I've not been able to attend the live sessions, it felt very interactive, even though I was only able to watch the recorded versions. The, the way of learning itself has changed. The era has totally uh, changed and the technology has played a huge role today in the learning aspect. Yes. And anyway, I mean, uh, what I we mean we feel and we conclude is, is a great achievement from your side. And uh, I mean, as a team, we are I mean, really happy and honored to you having this interview. And once again, we wish you all the very best and all Thank the success you. for Thank all you. that you're going to do as a future career in your endeavor as an endocrinologist. Best wishes to you. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much, sir. All the best. Okay, sir. Thank you so much, sir.